Hello, my name is Tiffany and welcome to Keystone Industries. Today I'm here with Dennis Urban CDT and we're going to demonstrate how to fabricate a clear mat partial denture. That's correct, Tiffany. And clear mat partial denture material is a revolutionary new material which virtually disappears in the mouth, only revealing the natural high-end aesthetics of denture teeth and the patient's natural dentition. And Dennis, what is it that we're going to see today? Well, today we're going to show the step-by-step -step procedure on how to fabricate a clear mat partial uh, showing from the waxing stage all the way to the finished product. First, block out the undercuts for the correct path of insertion and add spacing wax on the saddle areas so there's room for acrylic to flow in the ridge areas. Next step, wax the framework with clasps, rests, major, and minor connectors. You don't need any special gypsum to process clear met. Apply sprues to the framework and invest model and wax up in the bottom half of the injection flask using type 3 stone. Usually three sprues are recommended. Add a channel access sprue in the slotted section of the flask. Next, apply petroleum jelly to all the gypsum areas, screw down the top half of the flask, and vibrate the stone into the top section of the flask. After the gypsum sets, the case is ready to be boiled out. Unscrew the bolts and immerse into boiling water for five minutes. At this point, you may turn on the FlexPress digital injection system. Program the injection system with a recommended melting temperature of 542 degrees Fahrenheit. Melt time is 16 minutes with a hold time of 2 minutes. After the case is boiled out, apply one coat of Diamond D UltraSept to all gypsum areas. Allow separator to dry and then close and screw bolts into the flask. While the flex press is heating up, take the clear met tube and cut an X into the top solid section of the tube with a disc. Next, place the tube under heat lamps or in a toaster oven for 20 minutes. The temperature of the toaster oven should be around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The heating of the tube will remove any moisture that the clear met material may have absorbed. When the alarm goes off on the flex press, the clear met tube is ready to be placed in the injection unit. Lubricate tube with a release agent and place tube into the flex press. Next, place the flask onto the flex press and secure the flask strap and tighten bolts and then press start. The flex press will heat up the tube and inject the clear mat material after 16 minutes. After the injection process is completed, cool the flask and devest the clear mat partial. Now you can polish the frame with a polishing buff and pumice and then high shine at low speed with a soft buff and high shine compound. I want to show you the difference between a metal partial and a clear mat partial. The result of the clear mat partial material produces a high-end cosmetic partial See how heavy that is? And this is your clear mat frame. Look how light that is. Clear mat surely gives the patient, dentist, and technician a clear perspective on partial denture technology. That is a big difference. Very big difference. For more information about clear mat, please visit www.keystoneindustries.com.